I'm Chef Jay. Welcome back to my kitchen here in Las Vegas, Nevada. The fabulous Las Vegas, Nevada. Uh... <laughs> we got calabacitas today. Oh my god. With some... <laughs> the fuck out of Onion. <laughs> <laughs> Green chili. Squash. We're gonna have what some... The... Nice. Guacamole. <laughs> Cream puree. All gonna be on top of these little cute little tortillas with some red chili marinated <laughs> steak. <laughs> <laughs> you see it so much better. <laughs> okay, okay. Welcome back, people. We're here. We're gonna get down. So today I got. I'm telling you, to start this whole thing off. We're gonna do some uh, cilantro white rice. Let's get started. Something I didn't uh, say that we were gonna do, that I always like to do to start off doing, is drinking a beer. Ooh, my God. So I'm cooking some Mexican here. I'm not cooking a Mexican, I'm cooking some Mexican. Mexican food. Mexican food, I guess, I'm sorry. <laughs> we're, cooking some, we're cooking up some Mexican food here. So I'm gonna pop the top to that good old Mexican. Take care of that, please. Sir, I'd like a cheers first. Oh. Now I look like an alcoholic double fist. It's okay. I'm not in high school anymore. Like I said, we're going to start off with uh, some of that white rice. Oh, I would have broke that. These are our family heirloom from Crystal once again. It's probably not Monty Montana or Bill. <laughs> Bill's wife? Bill's wife. <laughs> wow. That's my grandma Sue. Billy Jean. Oh. Oh, I mean, Grandma Sue. So please come here. Wash me. I mean, wash. Look at, watch me wash me. Don't worry, I washed my hands before. Come on, guys. I'm just washing this. Get some of that little starchy starch off so it's not so sticky. Look at all that. See? Mm. And then, you I mean, you could get any of, uh, anything else in there that maybe, if you got it from a bag or something and you ripped it open and maybe you got a little piece of plastic, you can at least see and get it out that way. It's always good to clean your stuff, even vegetables. What is it you're doing? I'm just trying to match my finger on that little, the water line to match my finger. Almost. Look at that. Why are you the rice Come on, please, take it easy. I wash my hands. I just, I feel like I'm in. I don't know the technique. I feel like, are you a cop? Take it easy. Oh. Okay, I'm sorry. She didn't mean to yell. I'm just gonna cook some regular white rice and I'm gonna add the cilantro and seasonings later, you know what I mean? So, boom, done and done. So you could even actually save half of it and make something else with it. Look at that, cooking at home. It's brilliant. <laughs> Cheers, too. Then, the next thing that's gonna take long as fuck, some beans. Am I right? I'm just gonna go ahead and throw these uh, Mexican caviar right in there. Look at that. But like, hey man, the pan's not even on. What are you doing? Take it easy. It's not time yet. To those black beans, I'm just gonna go ahead and add this onion. I just wanna make it small enough just so they kinda you know, cook a little bit faster. That. Look at that. Look at that. So simple. Go ahead and add uh, some aqua. I mean, I'm only gonna add a little bit of water because I kinda want this a little bit of uh, like pasty. Because you know, I'm gonna spread that right on that uh, taco. I'm just gonna add it now. That's onion powder, garlic powder, and just a tidbit of cumin. And honestly, I'm just gonna put that on glass. We're just gonna keep that going. And you'll know it's ready when those onions and garlics are real nice and uh, tender. I like to go like that. Like, all right. It's tender. Just me? <laughs> Cooking's great. I mean, it's good times, it's good fun. I know it puts a smile on Crystal's face. So, that's always <laughs> so I got your main components going. The things that are gonna take just some time. But as of right now, we're gonna move on to the guac. Who doesn't like guac? Everyone likes guac. Actually, I lied. I used to fucking hate guac. What? True confessions. I'm just Aww. telling you my life story here. At one point, I never liked sushi. <laughs> but, catch me now. That shit, all you can eat, all you regret. Oh, well, for them, not me. Mm. Sorry, guys, I know you're asleep. Uh, oh, look at that, I almost missed. What? Oh, 
all I did was half of them. That's all I did, cut in half, take out the pit, carefully. I mean, come on, guys. Just common sense. You have to bite it out. Duh. Look at that. So simple, yet graceful. Here, some small O's. I'm just gonna rough chop, dude. Look at that. Be careful. Food Network it, you know? <laughs> I mean, it doesn't have to be always so precise how they show it and I mean, like look at that my chef would not approve <gasps> at all i do crystal approved have that right there oh shit what was that a little bit of that juice oh wait Shut up a little bit of that cilantro cito maybe you know i mean like look quick I mean, sometimes people like add so much stuff to their food, and it's like, yeah, it's great, it tastes good, but I mean, you could have saved yourself. We're not adding all that bullshit. Right, who? Very rustic. I'm just gonna add a little bit of uh, lemon because I don't have lime. But you know what? It's the thing about cooking at home. It doesn't matter. If you have some citrus, have some citrus. Oh my god. I think that's gonna be really good. So I can hear my beans going off right now? Come here. Come here. Come. And then if you look here, I still got the white rice. <laughs> the white rice going. Come on, Sue. Sushi. Do you think they uh, feel like my belly yet or no? Mm -hmm. Is it yeah. uh, You're supposed to say no. You have hard rock abs. So oh. You never feel like that. No. Because you're cooking them. Oh, well then that. I just gotta whiz. I'm just gonna mash it up. <laughs> right, go cool, see? I like my boy. He understands. Oh my god. Should have got a bigger bowl. Shitter's bowl. Okay. And I even like it a little bit chunky. Mm. Mm. About to do these black beans. I'm about to get my ribeye rolling. But you're like, fuck, we haven't even seen anything about this ribeye. You said it right from the get go, but we don't see nothing. But look at this little guy. Been right there. I'm looking at you. Follow me. Hey, meet him. Oh, lordy lordy. That right there, red chili base. I mean, there's just, I put up some uh, garlic, some onion. There's a little bit of cilantro in there. We're ready for these beans as well. Look at this. Oh, Mexican jumping beans. What I'm gonna do next, take my beans and my trusty blender. And we're just gonna blend, man. Be careful, it's hot. You want that shit to bust in your face. Oh, damn. Looks like a Cypress Hill concert in there. more tender sitting in that. Want to let some of that excess fall off, you know what I mean? You don't want to cause a crazy fire. Some salt. Seasoning, salt and pepper. The Mario and Luigi is seasoning. You feel? Who's in the kitchen with high man? Who's, Who's in, in the, the kitchen, kitchen I know? So we just flipped it. it looks uh, amazing, it smells amazing. Let it sit there with the residual heat do its thing. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and move uh, this guy out of the pick. And move this guy into the sink. I'm gonna make these calabaditas. Uh, calabacitas. 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 <laughs> Calabacita. I did a little bit of carrot, some uh, onion, there's some uh, shredded asadero, zucchini squash, and of course, some hatch. New Mexico green chili. Mm -hmm. So of course I'm gonna start off with uh, the carrots because that's gonna take a while. And the onion. So there's a lot of different renditions about calabacitas. I know my mom 
she actually puts ground beef, and she actually uses like whatever, I guess she has cheddar or Munster or Colby, whatever. But still, an old classic, still a favorite. And now I'm gonna go ahead and throw those uh, zucchini and squash in there. Throw in some of that green chili right now. Be careful with this stuff. Lay some of that together in there. Beans done. Gotta see this done. So, I'm gonna uh, prepare the rice now. So I'm just letting that steak rest there, you know? Let it do its thing. Cilantro here. I mean, at the same time as well, I'm thinking about these tortillas in front of me. So I'm gonna get a pan going for that. Be careful, it's hot. You know what I mean? Gloved up. Caution. I'm a big seasoner. Cause I'm not afraid of flavor. Since I have no lime, I got a trusty little chili lime seasoning that I'm just gonna kinda put right on top. Hopefully that can do a little something for me and Crystal. We got the rice. I need a beer. Can you give me a sec? Please. The talent is stressed. And I need a beer. Thanks. Thanks for tuning in, guys. I love cooking. I love entertaining. So, doing this, I get to do a little bit of both. Tortillas. These are actually flour. I'm gluttonous free. This is what I chose. So you mean I don't have an actual comal? But this works, man. It's nice. I'm sure it's hot. I feel that. I used to see my mom always do that. Head <laughs> test. <laughs> you don't want to. Stop! Don't be afraid. Let's get a little bit of color. I mean, just so you know that they're a little bit warm. Throw that last guy right there. Look at that. They're good. I mean, it's a tackle. It's got get deep. I'm just gonna just give it a few slices here. You know what I mean? I got a little bit of pink in there. Nothing crazy. Like I said, let's go on a taco. All this out here, that's what the main interest is right there. Oh man. That's it. Gonna plate it up for y'all. We got tacos, carnesitas, cilantro, white rice. Look at the spread here. What do we got here? It's amazing. Talk about a Taco Tuesday, you know? Oh, yeah. And then notice all of Crystal's. Please. <laughs> so I'm going to start off with these uh, carnesitas, just in a bowl. Now, the assembly. We got our taco, a little smear of that bean puree that we made that smelled amazing. Come over here, and grab a little hunk of meat right there. Oh my god. A little bit of a guac, that chunky guac. Some salsita, and a little sprinkolita. Instant replay. <laughs> And man, you think it's done, you're like, oh wow, that's amazing. But you know what? I have a little bit of cotija here to just kind of, what? Hi, Jay, what are you doing? What are you doing, man? Anyways, that's what we got. Check it. If you're a taco fan, I'm a fan of you. So, let's go get tacos. Till next time, we'll see what else I make. What else I got in my fridge? That's pretty good. <laughs> See, it's not ready. It's the perfect time. How is it ready? I just turned it on. Am I sleepy? You're to start with the dawn? Yeah. You're not sleepy. What do you need, huh? We're back. Here. Jay's Kitchen. Welcome. We're here in Las Vegas, Nevada. My home. Hopefully I'm in your home. On the screen. But, we're going to start today off with a recipe. Beer. 
You know me. This is my style. It's what we do. Gotta get things started. I wanna give you a little script of what we're gonna do today. Today, I'm gonna make a brat burger. It's a bratwurst burger, dirt. We're gonna add a little bit of a herbed truffled tomato mm. with a little bit of spinach on an onion bun, a little Dijonais, and our favorite, Crystal. French fries. No, green chili. Oh. Rushing. Excuse me. <laughs> and then it. some French fries with a little bit of bill. Cheers. I chose the stout because we're messing with the brat. We've got a combination of brat and beer. A nice dark beer and like a stout. I'm gonna make the french fries. I'm gonna start off with the potato. I'm just gonna cut them into, I mean, french fries size. Look at that. French fries, you did it. There you go, look at that. We got french fries, people. The potatoes, the spuds, Crystal's fave. We're back here again, people. If you've seen the other episodes, you know this is uh, what Crystal's all about right now. Um, this right here is uh, called agua. If you saw my salsa video, you'd see how we make this. But I got it on hand, so I don't need to make it right now. So I'm just gonna put these uh, fries in there, or these spuds, soon to be fries. And uh, I'm just putting it in this water, you mean, get some of that starch out. I'm gonna add some more. Ooh, squishy splash on me. Cause you can see the starch build up in there. You'll see your uh, water's turn or a little cloudy, you know what I mean? So, it's actually looking pretty good. Only did one run. I'm gonna go ahead and grab a pan. On here. Oh my God! Babe! <laughs> <laughs> Every time! <laughs> Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. They're like, what are you doing, bro? I'm gonna go ahead and put these in the freezer. Let them, uh, you know, stiffen up a little. It gives it an overall better taste and color. You can see right here, I got my uh, fancy fryer. Ooh. Fresh out the kitchen, baby. I'm just gonna go ahead and plug that in. Get that warming up. 375. That's as uh, fast as this bad boy can get. I mean, like I said earlier in one of my other episodes, it's like, it's really cool to have uh, little gadgets like this to kind of make it seem like you're in a professional kitchen, you could say, you know what I mean? Just, I got a fryer, I got a little waffle iron. I don't know, to me, this all makes a difference. So, we'll be back. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, throw those in the freezer, get this warmed up, and then we'll get that brat burger rolling. Sound good? Mm -hmm. Sounds good to me. Licking up that water. Hmm. Mm. Beer and brats. That's why we're here today. I left off with some uh, fries. Chilling. I'm gonna start with herb tomato. We got a little bit of parsley, some rosemary, and some thyme. Ooh, uh, yeah. pretty. Yeah. I'm just gonna finally chop that. The thing about using your knife, like I said in one of my videos, it's about being confident. Cooking is all about being confident. Really, that's all it is. Learn how to handle it, be mindful. You know, don't cut yourself, don't cut your fucking finger off. But, I mean, look at that. Look how fast. That was. I mean, in no time we had minced herbs. You I mean you could even go further? You can go far, but I think that's a good little stopping point. I'm just gonna put that right back uh, in there. Yeah, bro. So who's gonna take over after this? He's gonna show you how to uh, cut a tomato. Um, I'll be back. Uh, oh no, it's a little camera shot. All right, fine. Fine, I'll do it. We practiced too. I'm almost, almost ready for another one. 
the best thing about cooking? Cooking, hanging, barking with the boys. What's going on, man? You telling the world what I'm making? Hopefully. So I'm just gonna cut actually just a few pieces of this for the burger. The rest, put it to the side for now. Clean up. That was for you all. This one right here is for you all. <laughs> After that. Wait, will you cheer us me, babe? Oh, I'll pop the top with you. What's that song, babe? I'm trying to remember it. Pop the top! Okay, man. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I bet Jess Whiskey knows that song. I bet Jess Whiskey ripped that song hard. <laughs> Take me back to Nashville. Here. This is a Just Whiskey in Nashville. That's what you guys are watching. This is to everyone, but Nashville. It's for y'all. Now, I got my uh, sliced tomato. I got my herb. And I got a little bit of truffle oil. Honestly, it could be imitation. Honestly, come on. It's truffle. You're cooking with ballers now. You guys are the ballers. You could be ballers. Just cook with this. Honestly, this wasn't even this much. This was just that fake ass shit. <gasps> it's gonna drizzle. Just a little bit of that oil on top put a little bit of that herb that we chopped up and look at guys oh oh my god crystal please <laughs> sprinkle it sprinkle it sprinkle come on dad sprinkle this you is never my way this is you never mess up in cooking because you could always just like sprinkle and dad. spread the love <laughs> there you go turn that baby around you want that you want that baby look at that look at that there we go and you know what just for extra assurance a little bit of salt there a little bit of pepper that's just for flavor. That's later. Flavor for later. Keeping your station clean. Don't be dirty. Keep that shit clean. What the fuck? We're gonna work on Cleaner. the brody. Hello? Oh. <coughs> so anyways, I just ripped this bad boy open. You see that? Oh, oh my god. But Jay. But Jay! This is madness. What are you doing? I mean, this is just a rendition, man. You're bored? You're at home? Yeah. Maybe I don't got propane. Judge me, if you will. <laughs> so, I decided to make this little burger because I can just do it on the stove. It's fun. Mm -hmm. I can film it in my home. I don't even go out the crazy, cruel world. And this right here is about, two of them were made about eight ounces. That would've been real good. Notice the technique. Technique. Comida. Me gusta. Otra vez. Tell me where we left off, right? Uh, don't fry. do it again. Fry. That's right. Come on, I got it. What the hell, man? Fries. I got it. Look at it. Can you invent it like when you're sick, full, like in, you know, middle school? Bring your crayons. We're just gonna fry some of these bad boys. Am I right? Oh. Oh. That's it right there, baby. You hear that? Fries rocking and rolling. Beautiful color. That's what I'm talking about. It's good stuff. Since there's a lot of fat in brat, I'm just gonna literally add just a little bit of oil. Just kind of get the party rocking and rolling. For this brat burger, I'm literally just gonna add a tidbit of salt <laughs> and a little bit of pepper. I mean, just like a typical burger. But you know, you've upgraded. You've upgraded your life. Ooh, that sizzle. Which one's in here? You guys go ahead and put this in. Oh! Oh! Look at that. At this point right now, since we're waiting on that broth, I'm gonna bring out Bill. Trusty old, trusty old seasoning here, Bill. <laughs> Look at this. That's what I'm saying. This is part of the stock. I'm high dollar. <laughs> high brow. Look at that. Thanks, Bill. This right here, that's a culinary trick right there. Just moving it, and when people are looking at you, when you're cooking, that right there, wow. People are like, that guy knows what he's doing. But I'm pretty sure you guys saw that butter when we were right here. You guys look at the prep table, I'm sure. That's why I set it out for you guys. I get up bright and early, set it up, just for you. Pop the top. Right there. See that butter? I'm gonna lay this bad boy right there. Oh my god, that's that onion vine what's all about. When we come back, I'm gonna plate all this. Ready? Because I'm ready. 
<laughs> Don't look at that. The fires are up oh, here. All right. Excuse me. God, how rude. <laughs> She's a beaut, she is. Well guys, I'm about to plate up the raw burger and homemade fries. Honestly, thanks guys for watching. Uh, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> Me, Crystal, Taz, and Pooh. I mean, this is a good portion of our day. We get to kick it, you know, <laughs> enjoy all the good times. So we really enjoy you guys. <sighs> well, I like to have fun with my plating. I do different things every time. Usually I'll do two different kinds of platings just to <laughs> gotta keep up with the times, keep up with the trends. You know, a little fry basket there. That was fun. Honestly, I haven't made fries in a while, so that's always like a, I mean, Crystal loves it, brownie points. Thank you guys. <laughs> or gals too, I keep saying guys, I'm sorry. I shouldn't do that. Can you hurt me? So Dijonese, if you don't know what that is, is a Dijon mustard and mayo. Wow. Mind blown. Honestly, babe, I am so pumped for this. I should have made two so you could have, you know, tried it, but. You know, just add a little bit of that jus there. What's, what's uh, why are you gonna waste flavor? Oh my God, look at that, it's dripping off. We're gonna top her off with a little bit of uh, spinach and arugula. I know in the beginning I said it was just spinach, but I'm a fucking idiot, and there was arugula in there too, so, you know, I told you something you already knew. There we go, spinach. And you remember those uh, truffled, herbed tomatoes that you all made with me earlier? <laughs> We're about to bust those out. See, look, you hear that bell? That's always a win, every time. I don't know how I'm doing it, but it's pretty fucking awesome. And on top of those truffled, herbed tomatoes, mm -hmm. I'm just gonna throw a little bit of flavor. A little bit of taste of home. Because honestly, I love Las Vegas. I love every place that I visit. But New Mexico is always, always gonna have a special place in my heart. My family's still there. My great friends are still there. It's a beautiful thing. I'm gonna grab this little guy. He's green. Where are your gloves? You gotta get spicy. Don't touch them. It's okay. Them. Green and then red. I don't know if you all know, but New Mexico has a uh, state question called, what do you prefer, red or green? <laughs> We're gonna put a little bit of that right there. Look at that, look what you all created. This is literally amazing. I'm proud of you all. You guys are the best thing that's ever happened to me. Oh, you know what? I actually have a little surprise for y'all. There's been a like cool little fast food joint that throws like that like burger in there. It's like, oh man, that place is fancy. Would you look at that? You could do it too if you have a ghetto black tray. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in, guys. This is literally awesome. A brat burger, homemade bill seasoned French fries, dirty dishes. So thanks guys for tuning in. Like I said, if you guys like what you saw here today, check all the other ridiculousness that we do. But it's great. Good food, good laughs, Rabbitat, always. And I mean, we're always trying to do stuff that is off the wall, different. So always check us out. Check out Rabbitat. Thanks guys. Welcome. We're back. We're here. Back again. Me, Jay, Crystal, behind the camera. We got Taz here. Pumped. Aww. Pumped to see you guys. I'm pumped to see you. Hi, baby. We got who? Standard guard. Check it. Has a gear out. <laughs> Don't do that. Today, I got something a little different. Something a little less special for y'all. I'm not only uh, flexing the new knife, but I got something special, I guess. Well, like always, I'm going to start this episode. <laughs> you already know, please say it with me. Beer. Hello. 
Um, what do you think I should get? Voodoo, fat, IPA. Hmm. I'll go with the fat. Ooh, I'll take a fat. You want a fat? Or switch it up. Since right here. <gasps> My oh. baby. Let's do this. Sorry, Kara. No beer for you. So, special episode. At least, I would say. Oh. I love seafood. Love sushi. That doesn't tell you anything about loving seafood. Come on. So today, I'm gonna to be cooking some scallops. Honestly, one of my favorite seafoods. This is for you, my babe. The fat from the fat. Wow. That's nice. We got some scallops. We got some Brussels some mushrooms. This right here, it's like, oh my god, you've cooked rice before, but what the fuck? Where in the hell is your rice cooker? <gasps> well, I'm gonna use this guy right here. We're making risotto, baby. Mushroom, herbed, garlic risotto. Oh my god. And then we're gonna make Brussels, roasted. A bit of a red chili flake. Just keep it little. Keep it little fresh. Keep it little fresh. Here, come on. Risotto, scallops, Brussels. Full on meal. What's that? Like, What's that for? That? Dude, that's a little bit of water. Some cream, baby. Oh. Some oh, of that wow. cream. But that, come on. That's the. Okay. That's the special. You know, oh my god, we didn't add that to you. And this? Come on. And that? Oh, babe. Oh, yeah. Now I'm getting overwhelmed because excuse me. this right here, this right here is the new babe. Yeah. I'm the old babe. No, 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 no. <laughs> oldie this, but goodie. This right here is the oldie but goodie. What the hell am I then? Come on. You're my ride or die. <laughs> this right here, just my little vegetable knife. I just decided to be like, hey, I cut vegetables, why the fuck not? I we're gonna start with these Brussels because we're gonna roast that shit. See this right here? Roasted. Pan. Brussels. Dropped. This right here is oil. It's gonna get all slick, oily. So, I'm just gonna put one of these guys on. I preset my oven. 375. Oil. And then I've consolidated. You see this here? A little yin and the yang. Salt, pep. Pep. Salt and pepper's here. It's gonna just kind of season that. You know. Oh! What the? That was horrible. I don't know why I went so hard on that. Jesus. Season, you know, appropriately. And then at this point, see these red chili peppers that I said I was gonna add? Don't add them yet. It's gonna be too hot. It's gonna fucking burn your shit. It's gonna choke you out maybe a little. I'm just gonna add those maybe a little bit towards the end. It's what? nice though, right? Damn, that's nice. We're just gonna throw them in the oven. Just throw them in the oven. Taz, we'll throw them in the oven, okay? Thanks, bro. Thanks, dude. You're the best. Brussels, they're in. Step two, risotto. See this? We're gonna fry this. Arborio rice. So what's the trick? The trick? <laughs> it's no trick. Risotto is the technique. That is it. This is arborio rice. And I'm about to risotto this arborio rice. Most people are like, I want risotto, and it's like this. No. Risotto is a technique. You could use barley, you could use fucking lentils, or you could use even fucking arborio or long grain, short grain rice. Simply the act, the act of adding liquid Ooh. to this is risotto. Correct me if I'm wrong, but that 
is what I know. And that's what I feel. I'm just trying to get this nice. Oh, hell yeah. You well, see that, that rice, though? Yeah, butter? I'm not afraid of it. Don't, don't worry, baby. I'm actually just going to throw that in now. Oh, I love that sound. See that? I'm just sauteing this arborio rice here in a little bit of butter. You just kind of want to just step your game up a little. I mean, I, I, yeah, I made risotto. You're like, oh my god, did you watch fucking Emerald Giada? No, I watched fucking Jay. Because that guy is one of the sickest assholes I've ever seen. Oh, it smells like buttery deliciousness. It actually really does. I'm blasting this shit right now so I'm trying to get the party started. You can already see some of the grains are already getting a little bit of, like coloration, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. What are you doing? <laughs> we look fancy as you're doing it. Hmm. now it's uh nice and brown you see that toasty this next part though it can get a little uh a little tricky because i'm gonna add some of the liquid let me go ahead and turn this down because it's gonna splishy splashy a little and this right here chicken stock but not none of that like powdered stuff. This stuff right here is like the real deal. This point, like I said, real hot. I want to add a little bit. Look at that. If you want to add a whole spoonful of that, ooh, you're done for. Look at it. I'm adding the liquids. That's it. Just making rice, butter, and adding chicken stock. And that right there is the act of risotto. I'm just adding liquid slowly. It's gonna soak it up, and I'm gonna add a little bit more until it's nice and al dente, nice and creamy. And then I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do next. Cheers, little baby. I love cooking with you. Time. Ooh, yeah. Bata again. <laughs> I left off on that risotto. Come hither. See? I'm really soaking up that liquid back here. That stock of a chicken. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to add in more liquid now. You know why? Because they're not mm. done. Duh, dummy. I'm gonna heat that up. Hand test it. Ooh. That feels hot. That feels hot. Hand test it. That feels hot. See that? These are mushrooms. See, I'm still paying attention to the risotto. This is my blue steel side. So. I'm just sauteing this mushroom, right? And at this point, I'm just gonna throw in some garlic. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt and pepper. That right there. You can deglaze just with a little bit of water there, and it makes all the difference. I'm gonna go ahead and kill that. Add some herbs. Oh, a little bit of parsley. Rosemary. Rosemary. Sorry. And some thyme. So that. I'm just gonna go ahead and add that to my risotto. Look at that. 
I'm gonna sear off my uh, scallops. That's gonna be a treat. So uh, when we come back, I'm gonna show you this little infusion that I've done as well. Get the scallops rolling, and I'm gonna lay you up if you feel. I'm about to show you scallops, but first I'm gonna add those uh, red chili flakes to those Brussels, like I said. Look at that. Got that nice, nice little fucking char right there. Oh. I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit on there. Just a little bit of insurance, of spice, flavor. Toss them around a little. This time, I'm gonna turn my oven off. I'm gonna throw these bad boys back in there. Just to stay hot. And turn this bad girl back on. Because at this point, I'm throwing that bacon in there. This risotto's done. This is nice. Now right at this point, I'm just trying to get that bacon fat out. So I can add some garlic and the scallops. But first, the little infusion here I got. This right here is vodka infused with pepper. And what I'm gonna do here is just strain just a shot. And look at that. It's real dark, kind of looks like a little bit like whiskey. But that's been sitting there for about a day and a half. And I'm gonna add that to the scallops, just kind of uh, sexy it up. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. So, while I'm waiting for this to crisp up, I'm gonna take a little, a little drink with y'all. Thank you for following. It's been fun. Just showing you uh, just a little thing here and there, you know. So. Thanks, guys. At this point, go ahead and uh, add those uh, scallops right there. I'm gonna make a little bit of room there. And grab them. That's nice. Just throw them in there. Don't be scared. We're, we're professionals here. It's okay. After that's settled, after we've handled the flame, we're just gonna go ahead, reduce it a little bit. You can see it's a little syrupy consistency. And at that point, I'm just gonna go ahead and add some cream. I'm just gonna kinda let it finish off in there. I'm gonna plate up. Y'all ready? Another meal down. Another beer drink. Another beer drunk. Let's play it out. This little guy here. Put a little uh results. Oh, shit. I don't want this to uh, you know spilling everywhere. Put that bad boy right there. I'm gonna top that with a little bit of a uh, white cheddar just because I'm a bad boy like that. A little bit of uh, herbs. Next, why not a little bit of a uh, smell of love here? Oh. I'm putting so many because this is my plate. I'm just gonna add a little bit of that sauce. Why not? This is what's most important, right? Veggies. That's what you gotta do. Just throw in a few more herbs just to kind of spice things up a bit. Proud of you. Just so proud of you. If you don't enjoy this, that's your problem. Ready? Well, I'm ready. Look at that. Pepper vodka scallops. Baked Brussels. 
mushroom, herb, mm. garlic, risotto, mm. and I just topped it with a little bit of white cheddar and some herbs. Mm. This is us. This is it. Tune in next time for some more. More good.